This is Raptor News. We are divided by Christ. Luke 12 51. Do you think that I have come to bring peace to this earth? No, I tell you, but division. So we who know, know this is not Christ. We know this is Satan speaking in the Bible. And the Bible is infiltrated by Satanists. The truth is, nobody has the original copy of the Bible. All the Bibles are copies of copies of copies of copies and infiltrated copies of copies of infiltrated copies. And that's why there is a flood of confusion today because Greek mythology and everything else was added to the scriptures. Christ separates all churches and causes his people to break up into many sections. Christ is the only reason Judaism, Christianity, and Islam is divided today. Why? Because the Bible contradicts itself. It leaves many in a flood of confusion. Because it's a very infiltrated book. Let us take a look at what divides us all right now, today. To some Christians, Christ is God. And I'm just going to do the commentary because that's insanity. He don't know the time. He don't know the day. He prays to God and he tells you to worship only God. How in the hell can he be God? When God says he is one, that would be two. Christians can't count and they are insane. And this is the problem. We can't get past the insanity. But we have a solution, and that solution comes in the end. To other Christians, he is just the son of God. How would he, in the hell is he going to be the son of God when God himself says he created the heavens and the earth alone? So there was no son there. And that there is no God or no Savior beside him. They won't even believe God and that's how strong the delusion and insanity is. I did a video and I showed the power and the strength and the unity of Israel if we all came together. You know. And right away, when I put the different sects of Hebrews to, on the video, all of the divided people came to speak with the sickness in their heart. Oh, we don't like them. We don't like those. We don't like these. No, they not us. This is we. This is them. This is us. And we all, one people, we all over here sharing captivity together. At least we can agree on that. We all in captivity. It, it'll probably be one dumb motherfucker who say we ain't. You know what I mean? This, this is us as a people. The curses. You know, and the curses put blinders on their eyes where they believe a false doctrine. Some Christians just pray to and worship Jesus. They have totally forgot and bypassed God. God says right in the Testament that all the people who forgot God, they will become hell. I mean, you'll be standing in hell so damn long that you are hell. You'll become as fuel for the fire. Do you think they fear God? That's another problem. They have no fear of the Most High God. Other Christians ask God in Jesus' name. So they ask, they, they pray to God in the name of Jesus, which is dumb. Did Moses, because the book says clearly in the Old Testament, worship God like Moses worshiped God. Did Moses add Jesus? Did Moses pray in Jesus' name? Did any of the prophets and messengers and, and, and anybody from the Old Testament pray in the name of Jesus? Did they even know Jesus? No. This is more insanity. But they can't let go of this false God. This false entity. Some Christians believe Christ is the black Messiah sent to the black Hebrews only. You know. And they will say they're Hebrews, but you're just Christians. For as long as you are believing in Christ, 
and you're adding Christ with God, you are a Christian. You can call yourself Hebrew and Israelite all you want to. You are just a simple-minded, brain-dead Christian. He is not the black Messiah. You know, he didn't come and resolve none of our problems. The, the, the Messiah is supposed to what? Uh, free us? Some type of way? What did he do? Nothing. Died on a cross in some panties. Some Jews don't believe in Christ at all. They believe he is just a made up fairy tale in the Bible to them. So, unfortunately, since they have obliterated God and Christ, because there was a man called, well, it's not his real name, Jesus Christ, who came to the lost sheep of the house of Israel to bring them back to the Torah and is written directly and it shows that he actually did this in the Bible before it was infiltrated. They won't believe because it's so infiltrated. So why not just say he's just a fictitious character and the whole Bible is a lie? That's insanity all in itself. The Torah then becomes a lie because the Torah is infiltrated too. So I put out a couple of videos showing you that the Torah is infiltrated saying God is the son. God is a man of war. And then it's saying God is not the son. He created the sun and the moon. And God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. So the, the Torah is strongly contradicting itself too. Why not throw the whole Torah away and say Moses is a fictitious character if you're going to go as far if you're going to get rid of one prophet why not get rid of all of them and then just become atheists see what the devil's plan is so once they get rid of this it's easy to go astray and just start getting into what uh, that Egyptology believing the black man is some Egyptian god and the, the woman is where well, the woman is god all this crazy madness our people getting into because they can't accept the truth it is the very reason why we over here in slavery for worshiping false gods for doing the same shit nothing has changed and that's what makes me pull my damn hair out nothing have changed other Jews believe he is the son of God sent to the Hebrews only which is stupid. Stupid. Again, God said he have nobody beside him. A very small amount of Jews believe he is just a man or a prophet. And they're on the right track. Because that's what the book actually states. It's, God ain't never sent no God before. And God ain't never sent no son before. God sent prophets to the people to teach them a message. The end. And the and God says in Malachi 3.6. He never changes. Why would he send his son. When he ain't never sent no son before. And the Old Testament says all through it. There is none beside him. It is an infiltrated. Paganistic. Heathen lie. And well did they know it. That's why. This what bothers me too. That's why they never come over here and say nothing to me. Because they already know I'm going to put them in their place. Because they know that they're liars. But they love the, to, to speak fairy tales every Sabbat with people who love fairy tales. It's like people who come together and, and worship Star Trek. Tracky minded people. And Muslims believe he is only a prophet. I can go on all day with the different beliefs from the different sects when it comes to Christ. Not only that, but since the Bible contradicts itself, it leads people to choose what contradiction they feel comfortable, comfortable following, which is insanity. Even if you have the ability to decipher, I know I spelled that word wrong, between all the contradictions, the slave-minded Christians refuse to let go of the falsehoods 
and thus each divided group keep preaching their division of the Bible's insanity. The only answer is that God himself will come back and destroy all the transgressors and burn them in hell so the rest of us can live in truth and peace. And that's the only way we're going to get to the, the bottom of this. Remove Christ and the problem is solved. Whether people like that or not. Remove Christ and the problem is solved. Then people have no other choice but to worship God. Like God intended. This is Raptor News.